Hi there, Michael Bovey with Consumer Recovery Network. Thanks for tuning in to Debt Bites, our YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about dealing with a debt buyer, Cavalry Portfolio. Cavalry is one of the larger debt buyers and they're somewhat um, similar to some of the other largest debt buyers in the country in that they do and will try and collect on their own debt. You can reach out to them and resolve an account. But they also use outside agencies, third-party collection agencies to collect on their debts. Cavalry is active in the courts, maybe not as active as some other purchasers, but you can certainly be sued by Cavalry or an attorney for Cavalry. And let me clarify what I just said. Cavalry isn't necessarily having their own internal attorneys that are on their payroll sue you. There's a large amount, a uh, network of debt collection law firms across the country that they can just tap into um, and use those resources to sue you and those and pay them you know for that so when you're dealing with Calvary ideally it would be good to resolve a debt with them prior to any litigation or after the statute of limitations for your state to legitimately sue you in the courts to collect from you has passed if you have that option your settlement percentages are you gonna usually gonna be you know 40 percent and under okay a lot of the times and then if you're dealing with litigation with Calvary, and I do have a video, a couple of them actually, you can click on the link and enter into a, another video about dealing with litigation stage collection. And if it's Calvary, your targets aren't going to be much different than when you're sued by almost anybody, really. 50% um, is a very optimistic number to shoot for in settling litigation files, whether you're active litigation or a judgment against you and you, you're now only now in a position to resolve a, a debt with Calvary. Sometimes you're going to have to settle for higher than half. Um, a lot of the times what you're able to settle for, whether it's litigation or not, is going to be dictated by how collectible you're viewed by them. So if Calvary is looking at your file or a debt collector for Calvary is looking at your file, they almost all have real-time access to your credit reports. They can develop a, I guess, a collection score Okay, so not necessarily a credit score, but a collection score. Imagine a scale of 0 to 100. Somebody who's paying a mortgage and a car and their student loans and three other credit cards on time is going to be very high on that scale. Somebody who doesn't have a mortgage, maybe a car payment, and has five collection accounts, and that's really all that's on their credit report, they're going to score a little lower. And then you can have dialogue with a debt collector that changes their opinion of how collectible you are because what your credit report may not show is, is that you have all these medical issues and or you're not working, lost your job, cut hours, went to part-time, uh, going back to school or what have you. So settling debts with a debt collector like Calvary is not only possible, it actually should be your target in the fact that your original creditor has been not paid long enough for them to sell off the debt in the first place. So your credit is already damaged. You're not going to get any additional points or uh, favor by paying a purchased debt off in full. So my opinion because of that is, is to try and negotiate the best savings that you can. You need your money more than Calvary needs your money. So when you're negotiating the debt with them, it's just about as similar to negotiating with almost any debt buyer you can find, other than the fact that it's going to change with each agency they place the debt with. It's going to change with how old your debt is, and it's going to change based on whether or not this was a litigation file, active or post-judgment. So those are the things that will be the variables. In the comments below, I dedicate feedback to anybody posting on our YouTube channel, so I'm available if you want to post a little bit about your situation, share with me the balance that's owed or the approximate balance, when you last paid the original creditor on that account, whether or not you have other collections unresolved, and you'll get some dedicated feedback from me about what to do, how to do it, and I'll see you on the next video.